come to declare you're undying love for Stella, you've left it a bit late. Mom. <laughs> What's he doing turning up out of the blue? Uh, yeah, mate. What's occurring? I, uh... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I was just uh, running some errands and I just had to drop in and say congratulations to her. Oh. oh. Yeah, my apologies. I really didn't think it'd be an uh, issue. No, no, don't be silly. It's a lovely surprise, isn't it, Carl? <laughs> yeah, 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 the best. <laughs> May I? Oh. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. You both look so happy. Hmm. Well, it's time yet. The word <laughs> is ecstatic. Mr and Mrs Munro, if you and your guests would like to join me in the next room so we can sign the register. OK, right. Sorry to have duty calls. You, you're going to hang around, yeah? Yeah, of course. Come on. Hey, Carl. I'll be waiting right here for you. <laughs> to kill my baby. And you. And me. One at a time. If I could... could just... Officer, two people are dead. The bloke's a total sicko. He's getting married right now. Everyone but it. Now, just one of you, tell me what seems to be the problem, please. Right, we've got evidence and an eyewitness that proves that Carl Monroe burnt down the Rover's Return pub on the 18th of March. And where is this pub? Coronation Street. Postcode? Uh, M109KC. Look, please, can we speak to the detective? Which detective? Well, I don't know his name. Older guy. How old? About your age. Well, that narrows it down. I'll take a seat if I were you. This may take some time. <laughs> How's the hangover? Oh, getting hitched is the best cure ever. <laughs> Check the taxi for the airport. Yeah, safe, mate. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Probably you'll be doing show tunes, Mum. Yeah, singing to the porcelain more like. Oh, right. Hangovers aside, it was a lovely service. Oh. It was. Charlie, your eyes seem a bit touchy. Mm. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm just uh, looking forward to getting my wife in her own. Easy, Tiger. <laughs> Plenty of time for all that. <laughs> oh, Deb, you, you're coming back to the pub, aren't you? I mean, I won't miss it for the world. Yeah. Right, well, we'll, uh, we'll see you there then, shall all we? Let's jump in the taxi. Taxis. Talk about taxis. That's no way for a, a bride to travel. I'll tell you what. Why don't I drive you guys back? No, oh, no, no. You're fine, mate. Seriously, there's, there's no need. Seriously. I insist. Call it my wedding present. Well, uh, if it's not too much trouble. Not too much trouble at all. Come on. Your carriage awaits. <laughs> See you back at the pub. Uh, and be careful, please. Count on it. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. <sighs> <laughs> Who's that? That's not an important. Oh, thanks, Deb. My pleasure. Hey, Carl. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Hello. Hiya. I'm after this month's teen angle. Uh, second shelf down, third to the right. Uh, honestly, our fare's absolutely hooked. Well, I'm sure it is required reading. Uh, that's £2.30, please. Ah. I can't help but notice uh, you weren't invited to the wedding of the year either. Oh, Gravy-stained apron and ten-year-old jeans give it away, did they? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Still, I, I, I suspect we won't miss much in terms of celebration, cos word is the happy couple are on a tight rein, budget-wise. Oh, my heart bleeds. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> no, if you ask me, we've had a lucky escape. I mean, frozen volivons and sparkling wine of a dubious origin is not my idea of a good time. What's <laughs> <laughs> that? Oh, where are we going? Oh, that's for us to know and you to find out. Oh, looking. I don't trust you lot. <laughs> so, will you pick your feet up? Oh, they wanted a small reception, nothing fancy. Oh, somebody gag her as well. <laughs> yeah, shut up and keep walking. Deb, are you in on this? Nothing to do with me, I'm afraid. Oh, 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 don't a wedding procession, no less. Talk about delusions of grandeur. Yeah. Personally, I don't know what she sees in Cal. Well, they say love is blind, or so I've been led to believe. They're all blindfolded in this case. Yeah. Uh, can you 
Congratulations, you two. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Come here. 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 Come First time she's entertained, or, or first time she's had a friend? Do you know what? I'll make sure I tell her that, Norris. What? Honestly. Right, you ready to keep going? Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Are you ready? Yeah, just take this flipping thing <laughs> off me. <laughs> Surprise! <Yay>! Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't thank me. Thank Leanne. She's the organ grinder. What you did all this? Well, with a little help from Gail. She's made you a cake and all. Oh, no, it was nothing. <laughs> oh, thanks, everyone. <laughs> oh. Hey, you, never mind looking at your watch. You've got some toasting to do. Yeah. Pack it in, Marty Cooper. I still can't believe you're swerving your own wedding reception. Well, all the more reason to start enjoying Woo! us. Yay! Yay! Come on, be worth the lady. Right, one for me. Hi, love. Come on, this is Grace. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Windass. Oh, don't be daft. Call me Anna. <laughs> oh, you've got a lovely house, Anna. Oh, well, thanks, Grace. It's a roof over our heads, mm. isn't it? Well, oh, crikey, where's my manners? Can I, um, can I get you both something? It's all right. We can sort ourselves out. Come on, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> How much long has this got to take? There's a process, sir. Uh... Now I've got your details straight. I'll put it to the major incident team to try and track down the old detective who ordered up the case. Then we'll see about you lot making statements. So he's got to wait here. Seriously, this is unreal. Jason. Sorry. I'm sorry as well. What are you on about? I've let you down, love. Don't be silly. Come on. Carl is all fooled. You can't blame yourself. Well, Jason could see through it. Why couldn't I? You're both safe and sound now. That's all that matters. You just don't get it, do you, either of you? It's my job to protect Craig. I know I am not perfect, not by a long stretch, but I never thought... I mean, how could I not see it? Just don't cry, Mum. <sighs> it's all right, Mother. <laughs> Wobble over. It's going to be different between us. Just you wait. Right, where's this picking detective? Devlin know his name. Would you not think I've tried already? He's not picking up. Well, try again. All right, Dad, what's with all the attitude? We need to talk. <laughs> Mate, it's my wedding day. It was I could have already ruined if I wanted to. But can't we talk about this after I get back? Listen, it's not going to be a honeymoon, Carl. There's not going to be a, a happy ever after. Full stop. Sorry to interrupt. Come on, Carl, you're up. Uh, Come on. What do you mean I'm up? Uh, hello, hello, everybody. Uh, the groom would like to say a few words. Oh. <laughs> um. Look, go on, say something. <laughs> well, first off, you know, I'd like to thank you all for coming. No, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, a day's only as special as the people you share it with. It's no good time. So, uh, what's going on? Listen, there's things under control. What do you mean? Look, I can't talk. I'll see you soon. Wait, Dev. What's the name of it? He's on go. What did he say? He said everything's under control. Did you hear that, babe? Dad's taking care of business. <gasps> you know, it feels really weird that we're finally married, babe. Yeah, and I've got the ring to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I've, I've made a lot of mistakes in my time. Uh, and, and if I'm honest, um, too many. <laughs> yeah, well, they're all forgotten. No, not all. No one's perfect, bud. <laughs> But uh, I just want to say, you know, in front of everyone, that um, having you as my wife has given me faith. Faith in myself and faith in my future. And I don't know how I'm standing here, but I think it must mean that I'm not all bad. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the honeymoon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom. That all right, sense. Yeah. It all came over me. It's called love, big man. It's called love. <laughs> oh, what's he like, Eddie? Okay. 
Yeah, just um, stuff on my mind. You're missing her, aren't you? Always. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, that was really insensitive of me, Dad. I'm sorry. Don't be silly. Congratulations, are in order. Cheers, mate. Listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry. No, no fair enough. Make her happy. <laughs> Try. That's all we can ever do. You should be more careful. She won't want these to fall into the wrong hands. What's going on? Well, are you sure about that, Carl? Look, uh, I've got a room full of guests waiting for me. Well, they're not going anywhere, Carl, neither are you. Hey, smart. The well, way you sneaked out of the uh, bistro like that. I mean, one second you're there, next second you're gone. It's uh, very slick. Of course, you've uh, done it before, right? I don't know what you're on about. Well, I'm here to enlighten you. But hey, uh, first things first, what does the guy have to do to get a drink around here? <laughs> oh, you want a drink? Well, there's no reason why we can't be civilised about this, right? Yeah. Fair enough. What's your poison? You choose. Just don't make it a brandy. Cheers. No, you always look the part behind the bar, Carl. Your very own little kingdom. <laughs> Must have been hard to burn it down. You've done an amazing job. Do you think Nick could approve? No, I know he would. <laughs> Leanne, he'd want you to be here. Yeah, and he'd want you to have fun and all. Scrap that. He'd want you to have a shed load of fun. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, uh, better not disappoint him then, eh? Ah, uh, now we're talking. <laughs> Does anyone sit Carl? I left about ten minutes ago, Deb, shortly after him, and there's still my cake to cut. Oh, they'd have popped out for a crafty cigar. No chance. Not with me packing these bad boys. Mm. I still think it's very odd, Dev turning up like that. Mum, give it a rest. Well, he should have seen the way he was looking at you at the registry office. Oh, he was acting a bit weird. Mum. Oh, please. Mm, Carl was a bit edgy and all. Oh, all right. Dev does not fancy me. OK. <laughs> I should hope not, cos Carl would have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's uh, he's, uh, talking to the police as we speak. <laughs> what, and I suppose we worried. The bloke's practically certifiable. I recall similar things being said about me. You know, he's obsessed with Stella. Everyone knows that. Honestly, I can't believe a word he says. It's not important what I believe. The police are going to laugh at him just like they did before. We worried about that as well, Carl, and that's why he's taking a little friend along with him. You know, your little friend, in fact. Craig. That is out of order. That kid is vulnerable. <laughs> are you still looking out for him? Even now? I'm actually quite touched. Oh, it's getting boring. I'm sorry. Were you hurt? I can understand that. Because you've been like a second father to that boy, you know, his very own guardian angel, and you have watched over him and listened to his problems, and you've even gone out of your way to protect him from these non-existent bullies, and this is the gratitude that you get? Well, I guess you shouldn't have threatened to kill his mother. That is a lie. You, know, you like killing mothers, don't you, Carl? Leaving them for dead. Now I want to know what happened that night. And you owe me that much. No, 
Thomas Fox to get hurt. How long's tea gonna be, Mum? Mm, about half an hour, darling. What do I do? Uh, we could do our homework. Seriously. Might as well get it out of the way. OK. Uh, where has this girl been all our lives? <laughs> Sunita, follow me into the pub. I had no idea she was there until it was too late. She was drunk. She tried to attack me. You'd left her. I had no choice. There was smoke, flames everywhere. Look, whatever you think you know. I know that you locked her inside a burning building. I was scared. You left her. And then you let her take the blame. And you watched on as her name and her memory were destroyed and as our children suffered. I tried to be there for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like a true friend, you helped pick me up. And you listened as I went slowly mad. Yeah, and you looked on as I tortured myself day after day after day, and all the while I was right. And I was right about the fire, about Sunita, about everything, because I was right. And I was wrong. Consumed with guilt, messed up, wishing that I died instead. Yeah, but you didn't die, Carl. Sunita did. Oh, you keep it so calm. Thanks to my sisters, I've had some experience with cop shops. Tinker. I thought I recognised that name. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Detective Sergeant Willits. Oh, about time. Apparently you've got some information for me. My son Craig, sorry, burnt down the Rover's return. Yeah, it wasn't Sunita Alhan, it was Carl Monroe. I've said it from the start and now you've got an eyewitness. Craig, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Keith. Uh, do you want to come and have a chat? You can bring your mum and dad along. No, yeah, I'm not his dad. But he's auditioning for the job. Uh, yeah, what about me? Right, just take a seat. Someone will be with you in a minute. You'll make him believe us, don't you, worry. So what's the plan now? You could let me go. you never have to see me again. You should answer that. Probably the wife. Go on. Tell her we're coming back to the party. Sorry. You heard. So that's finally going to see you for what you really are. No. Please, there has to be another way. I want to see the look on her face when I tell her that you torched their pride and joy. You caused two people to die. I want to see her love fade away right before your eyes. No, she doesn't deserve that. Look, I'll add myself in. This is where you find out what loss really means. And what is it exactly that you think you've lost? Hey, Seriously. That woman. Betrayed you. She betrayed us both. Don't ever talk about Sunita. Oh, Sunita, Sunita, Sunita. Change the record, will you, pal? That woman never understood the meaning of love or loyalty or self respect for that matter. Don't ever talk about Sunita. It's not worth your tears, mate. She never was. Face facts. You're better off without her. I did you a favour that night. Speech he started, I burn it all in my pocket. I'm sure he'll be back soon. He better be, because what I've got, you can't just turn on like a tap. It takes artistry, time in the old X Factor. Oh, that's funny, because I just like to be a shed load of jokes about the mother in law. <laughs> There's gratitude for you. I don't know why I bother coming. So you can pull. 
Look, I'll just go and have a look for him. I'll go. No, 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 I'll, I'll do it. I've got to get changed anyway. Don't worry, we won't go without saying goodbye. All right. All right, come on then. Okay. Ready? Get it on my dress and I'll throw it over your head. <laughs> Have you been? Long story, mate. Listen, uh, has the taxi arrived yet? Not yet. OK. Well, look, keep Stella there. Tell her I'm bringing the luggage over. Mate, she's just left to find you. Coronation Street's back in half an hour. 